RF Maker. Build radios and listen to the world. Hello, this is the RF Maker channel, I'm Leslie. In this video we'll examine a cold pits oscillator that can operate as an adjustable BFO for SSB reception. The BFO is a bit frequency oscillator that can be used to receive SSB signals in a radio. My oscillator circuit has two main parts. The first part is a cold pits oscillator with varicap diodes for frequency adjusting. The second stage is a simply common emitter amplifier that provides gain reserve and the signal decoupling. Now let's take a look at the circuit on the breadboard. This part is the cold pits oscillator section and this smaller section is the common emitter amplifier. I'm zooming in on the most interesting part of this oscillator, the tuning section. These few components control the tuning of the frequency. The two capacitors, the LC tank, the two voltage controlled capacitor diodes and the potentiometer. Let's take a look at the operation of the circuit. I turn it on and the oscillator starts running. As you can see the frequency is about 455 kHz. I'm zooming out. It's really a sine wave. Now I'm adjusting the potentiometer right and left to change the frequency. You can see the frequency changing in the measurement section below. The circuit can tune the frequency up and down by 5 kHz. I'm tuning it back to the 455 kHz. Now I'm testing two different settings of the circuit. I'm sure you know what happens if I tune the core of the LC tank. Yes, this is the primary way to tune the frequency. The other setting is the main gain of the oscillator. Warning, adjusting the potentiometer affects both the frequency and the distortion. Our goal is to achieve the highest gain with the lowest distortion. Now let's make a quick review of the schematic. The Colpitz oscillator, the common emitter amplifier, the LC tank, varicap diodes and the potentiometer. You can download the simulation file from my GitHub channel. And finally let's make a quick test. The question is, is this signal strong enough through the antenna? Our goal is to hear the sound of this oscillator from 0 to 5 kHz in both directions. I'm making a small coil around the antenna and I'm connecting it to the end of the circuit. Warning, don't feed the signal directly into the antenna. It must be galvanically isolated. My portable radio is working at about 540 kHz now. I'm tuning the LC tank to the same frequency. If I hear silence after the beeping sound, then the oscillator is on frequency. Nice! When I adjust the potentiometer left and right, it sweeps the frequency between 0 and 5 kHz. In conclusion, the signal strength is enough. I hope it will also be enough for SSB reception. The next episode will try to receive an SSB amateur broadcast. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed my videos, please subscribe.